Hi everyone, my name is Eric. Okay, today I will take this opportunity to share with you how we can actually properly plan our timeline from upgrading a, from a HDB to a private condo. If you like my video, kindly help me to like and share. Okay, first of all, uh, a lot of time when I met owner, they always ask me the question, should I sell first or should I buy first? I will always uh, request from them that can I do a financial plan calculation for you. And from there, I can actually advise that are you in a position to really, uh, are you in a position to on whether you can sell first or buy first? Um, first of all, I will group this, uh, I will group into two categories of owner. The first category is, is quite straightforward. Uh, after doing detailed financial planning for them, calculation for them, I can see that actually they don't need to offload their HDB uh, to request from the fund from, from selling their HDB to, for their next purchase. So my question to them is very simple. Um, do you have the cash or do you have the money to pay for ABSD if you were to buy first? So, uh, most of the time, uh, they will give me the question that, can I don't pay? Okay, if you don't want to pay for the additional buyer stamp duty, then I will have to say that you have to sell your property first before you buy. Yeah, uh, this is uh, this is the this is the this is the reason where we always uh have to sell first before we buy. But unless they tell me that they can actually pay for ABSD, then I will say that no. Then in this event, I will say that um, you you can actually go and have a look at uh, what you want to buy before you sell. Uh, so so, to in order to help them, I will say that um, if it is a metropolitan house home for your HDB is a metropolitan is your first metropolitan house, and the next property purchase is also under metropolitan house, you can actually ask for ask the IRAs to rebate you back the ABSD after selling your your first HDB. Okay. So now now the more critical I will touch on the second group. Where after I do a financial calculation for them, uh, and they most of the time most of their CPF OA and the cash are being locked up in their first house, which is their HDB house. Then I will tell them, no choice, you have to sell first before you can actually buy. Okay. Um in order for me to to help them my planning for them is always to go in concurrent. Yes, in concurrent. Why? First of all, is after the detailed financial planning, uh, after consultation with the banker, how much loan they can go up to. I will know the range of uh property price range that they can actually uh they can actually afford. So we'll I will show them on the list on the property guru and this thing. Uh, this is based on your criteria and this is the range of the property that in the market currently that you can actually have a look first. I will strongly advise them to have a look first because ultimately they are buying a, a big ticket item uh, so that they ha can have a feel on what is the what is the advantage and disadvantage of a certain property and the facilities and things like that. Lah. So as you keep, give them the, the mood to kick on because why at this point of time I will need some time to dress up their house before they put into the market for sale. Lah. Yeah, so <laughs> I also need some time to really ask for ask for uh ask for ask for them so that I can dress up their their unit before we pull up on the market to sell. Okay, the most ideal scenario in this event that is first of all is like <clears throat> from selling your HDB, uh your potential buyer, I will request the potential buyer to give a three month extension to my owner after the completion of the HDB. Why? To address two points. First point is. Because the purchase of your condo is definitely later than the HDB. So we will have a point of time where we have no house to stay. So in order to address this, three month extension can address. I, I, I will need it. Secondly, no matter what, uh, when you buy a resale you, you condo, definitely you will need some uh, some time like to do a minor renovation, like painting, like fixing up some lightings and things like that. So that uh this this time this three month is given to to the current owner so that they can have that luxuries to do up their unit before they move in, okay. Uh, 
this will help the, my current owner to move only one time and not move two time so they minimize the inconvenience to the family la. The, that's that's the that's my point la. okay so in conclusion uh i would say that uh a very de- a detailed f- financial planning is required so that you will know whether you can use selfers or buy first okay secondly uh my advice to homeowner is that uh always it's always good to find out how much is your loan how much loan you can you can go up to before you even start to look at the look at the properties for purchase okay if you like my video or if you have any more question for me like you like other any other question feel free for a non application you can give me a call give me a call with a non or non application discussion and i hope that i can help you uh, to be more more detailed uh. yeah thank you so much i see you again